Hello everyone, we will continue the topic. In the previous video, we learned in the debugging mode how your screen elements are coming one by one into this particular loop statement. And now we will write the logic. We'll see how to write a logic. And that is always the best way. I will open this. I will open a parallel session of debugging and I will write a logic in another session so that it will be very clear how we are achieving this requirement. Firstly, I will close other sessions. I will run this in debugging mode. And in another session, we will write a code so that parallelly we can see and we can write the code. I will go to process before output of screen 100. Now, I will write a logic. Now, inside this loop, all elements are coming one by one. But we want to disable order date, payment mode, total amount and currency. We'll see. Suppose if I am doing F5, I do not want to disable this. I do not want to disable order number. I do not want to disable submit button. I do not want to disable back button. I want to disable this. So how I will write a code? If screen hyphen name is this. If screen hyphen name is equal to order date or now we want to disable this we want to disable payment mode we want to disable total amount or total amount screen hyphen name is equal to total amount or screen hyphen name is equal to currency. Whenever these four fields will come, because either condition is true, any of these four fields is coming, I want to set the input to zero. Because we want to make them disable. Zero means it is disabled. One means it is unable. So I'm setting screen hyphen input is zero. It means for all these four fields, input property will be zero. And I am modifying the screen because the changes should, should reflect. So I am modifying the screen. I'm checking the syntax and I will activate the program. Now, I will simply, simply show you how this logic is working now. I'll put a breakpoint so that you can understand. I'm running PBO call. Firstly, firstly, screen hyphen name it will come one by one it is order label 
if condition is false it will not do anything if condition is false it will not do anything if condition is false it will not do anything if condition is false it will not do anything now if condition is true so our if condition is true it will set the input to zero and then it will modify the screen and if i will go to screen you can see this particular input is set to zero for order date similarly it will do it for next also if condition is true for payment mode if condition is true for total amount if condition is true for currency and we set the input to zero for all these four screen fields if i am executing you can see all four are disabled see we have not done this changes in the layout layout we have done this changes we done this changes through coding itself similarly if someone ask you to go for visible invisible you can achieve that also if someone ask you go for required or not required this is the way you can do one means active zero means in inactive one means it it is true zero means it is false so this is the way how you can change the screen field properties one of the important topic because depends upon the requirement we should change the screen field properties so that's it in this video thank you